So we've known for a while that Joe Biden is nothing without his teleprompter, but even when he's on teleprompter, things can go horribly wrong like this. I will make an educator, an education that in fact, Jill, my wife is a, 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 a professor at a community college. I will make an educator. That was his Ron Burgundy moment last week where he read the teleprompter apparently word for word and that came out. But what we're also seeing from Joe Biden is that he can't use a teleprompter in all of his interviews because sometimes he's just FaceTiming people. He's just using Skype or Zoom where he has his computer right in front of him. So you can't really put a teleprompter on a webcam for a computer. I guess technically you could, but that's beyond Joe Biden and his campaign skill set. So what Joe has resorted to is bringing notes to all of his interviews. So what I've noticed watching all of these, because I watch every single interview he gives, what I've noticed is that he's looking down at his notes almost the whole time. Every time he has a, a thought, every time he has an idea, he relies on his notes to tell him what to say. It's, it's really pathetic. Um, I don't want to laugh at him because he's clearly in, in mental decline. So I want to put together this whole compilation video will be the times of the past week and a half that Joe Biden has looked down at his notes because he doesn't know what to say. This is Joe Biden. This next clip is Joe Biden looking at his notes. And even with his notes right in front of him, he's still a stuttering mess. We got to, it's just, yeah. but you got to, I mean, the, the, we got to reassure, look, my, my message to everybody I talk to. Yeah, that's painful. It's painful. The guy has the notes right in front of him. He looks down at him and he still can't seem to get what is in his head out. Now, this next one is possibly the most damning. Joe Biden was doing an interview and he said he was really concerned about what President Trump was doing, but he needs his notes to tell him what he's actually concerned about. Watch. It had no sense, no sense of science, no sense of responsibility. And I, and I just really, uh, it really worried me that, uh, he was both unqualified and incompetent to deal with something like this. It's not anything he's ever dealt with or, or had any inclination. How phony do you have to be to need notes to tell you what you're concerned about? Just think about it. He says, I'm so concerned. Hold on, let me read my notes to tell me what I'm so concerned about. Oh, I'm concerned about this and this and this. It's a sham. It's a complete sham. Now, just in case people think that that's just cutting it out of context, this is actually part of a larger clip. We're going to keep going. We're going to let you keep following this train of thought that Joe has. I mean, it's it's a derailed train, but this train of thought he has. And watch how after he looks down to, to remind himself what he's so concerned about, he looks down two more times in this one clip. And I, and I just really, uh, it really worried me that uh, he was both unqualified and incompetent to deal with something like this. It's not anything he's ever dealt with or, or had any inclination to deal with. If, if you were in office right now, what would you have done differently and what would you That's be two. doing differently now? See that? You just looked well, down. First of right all, that, I take responsibility. On the way back. Um, you know, this president says, I have no responsibility. It's not my responsibility. Well, who in the hell is it if it's not the president of the United States' responsibility? And I would be accountable and I would be transparent about what we're doing. And when, look, There's for three. me, it seems to me three. that the first thing I, and I suggested notes. this a while ago, we should have a supply commander, like a military person who in a war has in charge of all the assets that the, that the military that needs. That's just a lie, right? That's just Joe Biden. I mean, first of all, Donald Trump has put a military man in charge of the logistics. So that claim from Joe Biden is completely BS at the end. But just going back, you, you have to catch one of them on the other cut where they, where they go to James Corden. You can see Joe Biden look down on the laptop screen, and then you can see he's looking down when they come back from commercial. He's doing these interviews off of notes. Every time they cut away from him, he's looking down on his notes to figure out what next he should say. I mean, it's one thing to go into a speech and you need your notes for the speech. That's fine. But he's getting softball questions. He's getting absolute softball questions. Let's go to this. This is Joe Biden needing his notes to tell him what the three things are that America needs to be doing. He has the authority under the Defense Production Act to be able to go just like he did with General Motors and say build ventilators. He has the same thing, authority to say in order. Everybody says, look, there's three things that have to happen. Testing, tracking and treatment. So, OK, sure. It's fair. He needs to look down to know the testing, the tracking, the treatment. That's fine. Fair. Maybe he just needs it to remind him this one time. 
But no, here's another example of Joe Biden needing to look down to figure out and remember the three words, testing, tracking, and treatment. Um, you know, it gets down to testing. It's about uh, testing, tracing, and treatment. And, uh, and so... These are supposed to be his key proposals, right? Someone said, okay, Joe, this is what you need to say. You need to go out there and you need to criticize Trump for not doing a good enough job with testing, tracking, and treatment. Here you go. We're going to get... It's the three T's. Should be really easy for you to remember, Joe. All three words start with T. And I could have gone... I, there were many other cases where he looks down to make sure he doesn't mess up the three T's. But you can see how his campaign tailored this to him to make it easier to, for him to remember. And he still can't get it. Now, here's another clip from his interview with James Corden where they try and set him up for a prepared joke. But he doesn't know the joke. So he has to look down at his notes to remind him of what he's supposed to say. Fantastic. Now, everybody is talking and wondering about who your running mate is going to be. I've heard, as an exclusive on this show, you're going to tell us so who it is. Do you, who's it, who's well, it going to be? Looking down well, his notes I, to figure out what I, it is. I, I'm going to tell you if you keep it quiet. Okay, I, honestly, literally no one is watching this. All right, Julia Louise Dreyfus <laughs> is going to be my, my person. Well, that would so be She terrific. has all the experience in the world. I'm not sure she'll do it, but I'm, that's, my, that's my choice. That's who I'm going to pick. Look. It's so fake. So, again, this is his writing staff. His campaign staff wrote this joke. Julia Lewis-Dreyfus, she is the actress from Seinfeld, right? She also played the vice president in the show Veep. So that's supposed to be a joke where he's saying, oh, I'm going to name her as my vice president. Oh, ha, ha, ha. But Joe isn't in on the joke. Joe doesn't get it. Joe doesn't even know her name. He had to look down at his notes twice just to get this prepared, pre-written, pre-scripted joke down. And he still mispronounced her name. I mean, it's, it's stunning. He can't even get his canned pre-written jokes right. Here's another clip of Joe Biden looking down at his notes, reading from his notes, and still delivering complete gibberish. Avoid that, those very high numbers, we have to do at least several things. One, we have to uh, depend on what the president's going to do right now. And first of all, he has to uh, tell, uh, uh, wait till the cases before anything happens. Look, the whole idea is, He's got to get in place things that were shortages of. Yeah, that, that, one's, that one's from a week and a half, two weeks ago. It's still tough. It's still tough to watch because that is Joe Biden on notes. That is Joe Biden reading off of his notes and trying to use his notes to get out a rational, coherent thought. Here's Joe Biden needing to look down at his notes to remember that he believes the election should be held on schedule. We're going to have to conduct the election on November 3rd. We did it. Uh, there, it we, we have to make our democracy as well as dealing with disease <coughs> function. And we can do both. Yeah. Joe Biden needs to look down at his notes to remember when the election is so he can say that the election should be held on schedule. And this last one is particularly funny. Joe Biden thanking everyone for tuning in to his live stream. But he needs to look down at his notes to remember to say it. Uh, you know, a lot of live stream things that oh, I'm getting just get, getting used to. And uh, and it's, but it amazes me uh, that everybody is, uh, you know, uh, tuning in to so many. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. There's one thing to need notes, to glance at your notes and look up at your audience when you're giving a speech. It's another thing to just be supposedly speaking from the heart, but having to look down at your notes to remind you of what those heartfelt thoughts are. And this man is not well. This man isn't well. It's plainly obvious to see. When he has a teleprompter in front of him, as we showed at the beginning, even then it can go off the rails. But it looks even worse when they can't hide the teleprompter in front of the camera and he has to use notes on these laptop-style interviews. So let us know what you think. Do you think we're making too big a deal of this? Or do you think that this is another one of those signs of mental decline? Let us know in the comment section below. And please hit the thumbs up, like the video, um, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And please do share it. We want to spread this. We want to make sure as many people can see this as possible.